sorry, real rookie error there. Error there, eh? You're really rookie errors. Sorry, real rookie error there. Um, I had my headphones plugged in, so I was listening for the bleeps. So I was listening for the bleeps, the bleeps, the bleeps. And obviously didn't hear them because they went through my headphones. I'm still getting used to these things. Listen. I'm still getting used to these things. Listen. I'm still getting used to these things. Listen. Um, there is a really common error that we see in guitar playing. Um, the error is too much tension in the right, in the left hand. Oh, obviously right hand. If you are a left-handed player, um, this comes from a misunderstanding um, of treating the guitar like it's an adjustable spanner, as opposed to opening a drawer. Here's what I mean. If the guitar is an adjustable spanner, then what we do is we place the note where we want it to be using our thumb, grip as hard as we can. Grip as hard as we can. Grip as hard as we can. Um, and we actually create tension down this part of the hand and across this thumb here. So if I'm playing a bar chord, if you've ever tried playing bar chords and you create this tension across here, this is exactly what's happening. You are treating your hand like it's an adjustable spanner i.e. pincing between the thumb and the finger I can cope with this but so here I'm using my thumb to pince here like this if I did that for any length of time it would get sore or I was like we were asking Alina if I did if I did that for any length of time it would get sore you're finding that it's sore that's your problem. Well, you know, for you're finding that it's sore. That's your problem. And that's why it's not sore with me because I don't do that. Because I don't do that. Rather than teaching it like a treating it like a an adjustable spanner, where I'm making my thumb grip with my finger like this, what I'm treating it like is it's like it's opening a drawer. This is why I've titled the video Opening the Drawer on Guitaring. If you place your fingers into a drawer, like if you've got a, um, a drawer handle, and you place it in and you pull it like this, yeah? That's, that's the motion. So all the muscles here are being used. Your thumb isn't used. If you're opening a drawer, you can get your thumb completely out of the way and open the drawer like this. This is identical to how you should play the guitar. Placing my fingers on the guitar, I can actually take my thumb completely out of the way because that's not the purpose. Oh, it might the oh, it might the oh, it might the oh, it might the purpose is not um, treating the guitar like it's a spanner. I don't need my thumb there to treat it like it's a spanner because that's not what I'm doing. What I'm doing is I'm pulling it towards me. So, placing my finger on the, the string, I pull my hands towards me to play. Same thing with the bar chord. And from the front end, you can see my thumb is actually all the way around here. So, one of the fears that you're going to have here is that if you um, you need your thumb here to grip because if my hand is over here if I don't use my thumb to grip the guitar will fall and I can't do it if that's um, and that's your fear very for if that's um, and that's your fear. Let me just adjust this for a second. I'll show you exactly what's going on. It's not how you play guitar anyway. It's not how you play guitar anyway. I place my elbow on the guitar. You should place your elbow on the guitar. 
and that acts as the counterbalance. So when I take my thumb out from the guitar here and I pull, of course, if my elbow is not there, the guitar is going to fall. But my elbow is there, it's acting as the counterbalance. So as I pull the drawer, I take the tension all the way out of the guitar and add the pressure that I need. So what I'm feeling here, and this is maybe something that you don't get in the video, is that as I pull the guitar towards my left shoulder, this shoulder here, you can see a small pulling there. What I'm doing is I'm taking my right elbow and pulling it towards me. You can actually see there's almost, um, it's like the guitar is breathing. Watch this point in the guitar as I'm playing. See it move there and relax and breathe 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 and relax. So what's happening there is as I'm pulling the drawer with my left hand, I'm also counterbalancing with my left, my right elbow. And all of that, just to reiterate, is done with my thumb. Just to show you at the end there, I just sort of placed my thumb over here. Um, there's there's a couple of different ways that I'm playing. Um, sometimes if I'm playing live, if I'm playing particularly fast sections, um, I'll place my thumb against the guitar like this and just slide it along. So I'm placing it like this and sliding it along. It doesn't need to be here because I'm not using it like a adjustable spanner. Um, if you're watching this in American, then uh, adjustable wrench maybe. I don't know. Um, some kind of tool that you have to pince. It's not a pincing thing. I don't need to pince with my thumb. What I do is I open the drawer. So if I place my fingers on like this, every note that I'm playing the side here. Um, what was I doing the other day? I think I was actually doing classical gas with somebody and uh, to get them associated to uh, the A minor up here. Did that dreaded song, the one that you should never do in guitar stores. <laughs> Beginning of Stairway to Heaven, wash my thumb. Beginning of Stairway to Heaven, wash my thumb. Beginning of Stairway to Heaven, wash my thumb. <laughs> thumb way off here. Uh, I forgot how you play it, but the. Um, uh. Like glissandos, or glissandi, whatever the plural glissando is. Thumb way off here because all I'm doing is opening the drawer. Simple as that. Anyway. Um, that's a really simple technique, um, and it's a highly effective technique. It's a technique that's going to take all the attention out of your playing. 
I hope you found that useful and that you can get something from it. Obviously, I say this in every single video, but I'm never going to give my all my learning away for free. Uh, if you want to take personal lessons with me, get online at the, the website at um, robinthornton.co.uk. It's obviously a UK address. Uh, so if you are local to my area, then you'll be able to get one-to-one -one tuition at my house. But I do a, a variety of online lessons as well, um, which actually they work better for me because people in different time zones are able to take lessons while I'm not teaching in, in my house or in my home. Um, so contact me uh, via the website there. And we can set up some online lessons. Take this lesson and enjoy it. Have fun with it. But if you want to have your lessons tailored to your needs, the only way to do that is the launch one tuition. And you can get that at robinfortin.co.uk. Thanks for just now. And I've got a second of the podcast some other day.